Discordianism is a paradigm based upon the book Principia Discordia, written by Greg Hill with Carrie Wendell Thornley in 1963, the two working under the pseudonyms Maliklips the Younger and Omar Khayyam Ravenhurst. The Principia Discordia, if read literally, encourages the worship of Aris, a.k.a. Discordia, the goddess of disorder, or archetypes and or ideals associated with her. Depending on the version of Discordianism, Aris might be considered the goddess exclusively of disorder or the goddess of disorder and chaos. Both views are supported by the Principia Discordia. The Principia Discordia holds three core principles, the aneuristic order, the aristic disorder, and the notion that both are mere illusions. Due to these principles, a Discordian believes there is no distinction between disorder and chaos, since the only difference between the two is that one refers to «order». This is likely a major reason for the inconsistency in the wording. An argument presented by the text is that it is only by rejecting these principles that you can truly perceive reality as it is, chaos. It is difficult to estimate the number of Discordians because they are not required to hold Discordianism as their only belief system, and because there is an encouragement to form schisms and cabals. <laughs> Founding and structure The foundational document of Discordianism is the Principia Discordia, 4th edition, written by Maliklips the Younger, an alias of Greg Hill. The Principia Discordia often hints that Discordianism was founded as a dialectic antithesis to more popular religions based on order, although the rhetoric throughout the book describes chaos as a much more underlying impulse of the universe. This may have been done with the intention of merely balancing out the creative forces of order and disorder, but the focus is on the more disorderly aspects of the world, at times the forces of order are even vilified. <laughs> Popes According to the Principia Discordia, "...every single man, woman, and child on this earth." is deemed a pope, included in the Principia Discordia as an official pope card that may be reproduced and distributed freely to anyone and everyone. Papacy, however, is not granted through possession of this card, it merely informs people that they are a genuine and authorized pope of Discordia. <laughs> Saints. There are also five classes of saints within Discordianism, who are those who best act as exemplars and are closer to perfection. Only the first of these classes, Saint Second Class, contains real human beings, deceased and alive, with higher classes reserved for fictional beings who, by dint of being fictional, are better able to reach the Discordian view of perfection. A well-known example of a second-class saint is Emperor Norton, a citizen in 19th-century San Francisco, who despite suffering delusions was beloved by much of the city. He is honored as a saint within Discordianism for living his life according to truth as he saw it and a disregard for reality as others would perceive it. Mythology Aris and Aneras In Discordian mythology, Aneras is described as the sister of Aris a.k.a. Discordia. Whereas Aris, Discordia is the goddess of disorder and being, Aneras, Harmonia is the goddess of order and non-being. Dogma 3, History 32, Cosmogony, in Principia Discordia, states, in the beginning there was Void, who had two daughters, one the smaller was that of being, named Aris, and one the larger was of non-being, named Aneris. The sterile Aneris becomes jealous of Aris who was born pregnant, and starts making existent things non-existent. This explains why life begins, and later ends in death. And to this day, things appear and disappear in this very manner. The names of Aris and Aneras, who are later given a brother, spirituality, are used to show some fundamental Discordian principles in 
Psycho-metaphysics The aneuristic principle is that of apparent order, the aristic principle is that of apparent disorder. Both order and disorder are man-made concepts and are artificial divisions of pure chaos, which is a level deeper than is the level of distinction-making. <laughs> Hand of Aris The hand of Aris shown at right and other proposed symbols are used informally in certain circles, however, it is unlikely that Aris, the trans-Neptunian dwarf planet, will be assigned an official symbol by the IAU, since graphical symbols are rarely assigned to minor objects in modern times. A request to the Unicode Consortium to add the hand as a Unicode symbol to represent the planet, along with a symbol for 90,377 Sedna, was filed in 2016. Topic: The original snub. The original snub is the Discordian name for the events preceding the Judgment of Paris, although more focus is put on the actions of Aris. Zeus believes that Aris is a troublemaker, so he does not invite her to Peleus and Thetis's wedding. Having been snubbed, Aris creates a golden apple with the word Callista ancient Greek, Callista to the prettiest one inscribed in it. This, the Apple of Discord, is a notable symbol in Discordianism for its inclusion in the Holy Chow, and is traditionally described as being made of gold although whether that gold was metallic or Acapulco is noted as uncertain. Some recent interpretations of the original snub place Aris as being not at all mischievous with her delivery of the apple, but instead suggest that Aris was simply bringing the apple as a wedding present for Thetis. This interpretation would see Aris as innocent and her causing of chaos as a byproduct of the other wedding guest's reaction upon seeing her at the wedding. Topic: Philosophy. Topic: Three core principles. The Principia Discordia holds three core principles, the aneuristic and aristic principle representing order and disorder, and the notion that both are mere illusions. The following excerpt summarizes these principles, the aneuristic principle is that of apparent order, the aristic principle is that of apparent disorder. Both order and disorder are man-made concepts and are artificial divisions of pure chaos, which is a level deeper than is the level of distinction-making. With our concept-making apparatus called the brain, we look at reality through the ideas about reality which our cultures give us. The ideas about reality are mistakenly labeled reality, and unenlightened people are forever perplexed by the fact that other people, especially other cultures, see reality differently. It is only the ideas about reality which differ. Real capital T true reality is a level deeper than is the level of concept. We look at the world through windows on which have been drawn grids concepts. Different philosophies use different grids. A culture is a group of people with rather similar grids. Through a window we view chaos, and relate it to the points on our grid, and thereby understand it. The order is in the grid. That is the aneuristic principle. Western philosophy is traditionally concerned with contrasting one grid with another grid, and amending grids in hopes of finding a perfect one that will account for all reality and will, hence, say unenlightened Westerners, be true. This is illusory, it is what we Aresians call the aneuristic illusion. Some grids can be more useful than others, some more beautiful than others, some more pleasant than others, etc., but none can be more true than any other. Disorder is simply unrelated information viewed through some particular grid. But, like, relation, no relation is a concept. Male, like female, is an idea about sex. To say that maleness is, absence of femaleness, or vice versa, is a matter of definition and metaphysically arbitrary. The artificial concept of no relation is the aristic principle. The belief that, order is true 
and disorder is false or somehow wrong, is the aneuristic illusion. To say the same of disorder, is the aristic illusion. The point is that little t truth is a matter of definition relative to the grid one is using at the moment, and that capital T truth, metaphysical reality, is irrelevant to grids entirely. Pick a grid, and through it some chaos appears ordered and some appears disordered. Pick another grid, and the same chaos will appear differently ordered and disordered. Topic: <laughs> Operation Mindfuck. Operation Mindfuck is an important practice in the Discordian religion. The concept was developed by Cary Thornley and Robert Anton Wilson in 1968 and given its name by Wilson and Robert Shea in the Illuminatus trilogy. Topic: <laughs> Writings. Discordian works include a number of books, not all of which actually exist. Among those that have been published are Principia Discordia, first published in 1965, which includes portions of the Honest Book of Truth and the Illuminatus trilogy, which had its first volume published in 1975. The Principia Discordia is a Discordian religious text written by Greg Hill, Malaclips the Younger, with Carrie Wendell Thornley, Lord Omar Khayyam Ravenhurst. The phrase Principia Discordia, reminiscent of Newton's Principia Mathematica, is presumably intended to mean discordant principles or principles of discordance. Summa Universalia was another work by Malaclips the Younger, purported to be a summary of the universe. It was excerpted in the first edition of Principia but never published. It was mentioned in an introduction to one of the Principia editions, and the work was quoted from in the first edition. Zenarchy was first self published by Thornley, under the pen name Ho Chi Zen, as a series of one page or broadsheet newsletters in the 1960s. A selection of the material was later re edited and expanded by Thornley and republished in paperback by Illuminate Press in 1991. The book describes Thornley's concept of Zenarchy, a way of Zen applied to social life, a non combative, non participatory, no politics approach to anarchy intended to get the serious student thinking. One of the most influential of all Discordian works, The Illuminatus. Trilogy is a series of three novels written by Robert Shea and Robert Anton Wilson purportedly between 1969 and 1971. In a 1980 interview given to the science fiction magazine Starship, Wilson suggested the novel was an attempt to build a myth around Discordianism. We felt the Discordian society needed some opposition, because the whole idea of it is based on conflict and dialectics. So, we created an opposition within the Discordian society, which we called the Bavarian Illuminati. So, we built up this myth about the warfare between the Discordian society and the Illuminati for quite a while, until one day Bob Shea said to me, You know, we could write a novel about this. Zen Without Zen Masters is a book by Camden Benares, The Count of Five, published in 1977, of koans, stories and exercises of a Discordian nature. It includes tales of several early Discordians including Hill as Mal and Thornley as Omar and Ho Chi Zen. Enlightenment of a Seeker from this book is also present in Principia Discordia as a Zen story. Topic. Principia Discordia editions The first edition was printed using Jim Garrison's Xerox printer in 1963. The second edition was published under the title Principia Discordia or How the West Was Lost in a limited edition of five copies in 1965. The Principia Discordia or How the West Was Lost was first published in a limited edition of five copies and released into the public domain in 1965. In 1978, a copy of a work from Cary Thornley titled The Principia Discordia or How the West Was Lost was placed in the HSCA JFK collections as document 010857. 
Adam Gorightly, author of The Prankster and the Conspiracy about Carrie Thornley and the Early Discordians, said the copy in the JFK collection was not a copy of the first edition but a later and altered version containing some of the original material. In an interview with researcher Brenton Clutterbuck, Gorightly said he had been given Greg Hill's copy of the first edition. This appeared in its entirety in Historia Discordia, a book on Discordian history released in spring of 2014. Topic: <laughs> Related works. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> The Black Iron Prison. The Black Iron Prison was an effort to create an updated, modern book that would function as Principia Discordia did when released. The collaborators stated that, "...while the original Principia Discordia holds important messages and philosophies, we wondered if some of the humor and language might be dated and lost on a younger generation of Discordians." We wanted to crystallize some of our favorite themes from the Principia, those of radical free will and self-emancipation." The goal was to encourage "...critical thinking and self-awareness," in the reader. <laughs> Eccentric coup discordia, the tales of Shamlicht Eccentric Coup Discordia, The Tales of Shamlicht by Reverend Loveshade with Foreplay, or Forward by S. John Ross was published in 2012 by Anaphora Literary Press. The controversial book reportedly was inspired by an investigation by the FBI with portions of the book having been previously seized. Eccentric Coup Discordia includes blurbs short reviews of the book by R. Crum, Sandra London, Alan Moore, Rev. Ivan Stang, Robert Anton Wilson who saw an early draft, and others. It was listed in January 2013 in both the print and online version of the New York Review of Books. The book was soon pulled from publication after allegations of plagiarism were made on Amazon.com and sent to the publisher. An editor denied the claims which did not specify what material was allegedly plagiarized. The publisher stated, in part, I took the book out of print because I was receiving harassing phone calls and emails with threat of harm via Discordian Jakes, and my phone was infected with a virus with a Discordian flavor. <laughs> Historia Discordia Historia Discordia was compiled by Adam Gorightly with foreword by Robert Anton Wilson. It is a compilation of early Discordian photos, tracts, art collages, and more including works by Discordianism founders Greg Hill the Younger and Kerry Thornley Omar Khayyam Ravenhurst. Among other things, it contains the long-missing The Honest Book of Truth and the first edition of Principia Discordia. It features a blurb by famed comic book writer Alan Moore. Topic. See also. Chaos magic. Discordian calendar. Direct and indirect realism. Poe's law. Religious satire. Trivialism. <laughs>